Gamescom 2023, Europe's biggest gaming convention. And considering E3 is dead in the water, Gamescom is now also one of the world's biggest game conventions. Living just a three and a half hour drive away, like every year I had to go and check it out. We went on Thursday and Friday, and both days it was really busy. Lots of people show up every year from all around the world, so huge crowds cannot be avoided here. After arriving at the expo and having grabbed a quick but overpriced bite, it was time to check out the big AAA halls. And I have to say there was a decent presence of games this year. With Persona 3 Reload, Wukong, Starfield, Like a Dragon Gaiden and Payday 3 being some of the highlights. Did I play any of them? No. No way I'm waiting more than 2 hours in line to play a video game. That just seems like a crazy concept to me. I did play a demo for Armored Core 6, which was just about to come out, meaning we could play it without waiting. I was really impressed, I can't wait to start playing it when I get home. Other than that, we mostly played indie games at the indie floors, more on that later. But when it comes to AAA games, we kinda just walked around the many booths. A big one was the Sega booth, with Persona 3 and Like a Dragon Gaiden having the biggest presence. They also had an immediately accessible stand for the Samba de Amigo Switch game, so of course we had to check that out. Another great booth was the massive Xbox booth they had this year, which had a variety of games for visitors to check out and a Starfield presentation, showing the visitors the first 45 minutes of the game. Which you had to wait in line for, which I kinda don't understand. With the game being less than two weeks away, why not just have the visitors play the game itself? The Wukong booth was also really nice, Netflix also had a booth, and many more. So here's a quick montage of us exploring them. Next up, it was time for the indie games, my personal favorite part of Gamescom. And we got to play a lot of them. The best demo I played there was for Everhood. The game reminded me a bit of Undertale, especially with the art style. It has basic gameplay. You have to dodge the obstacles coming in your direction, and you can also jump over them. It sounds pretty simple, but there's a twist to it. Things get really crazy. The stage starts to twist and turn. Things start glitching out left and right. The game keeps you on your toes the entire stage as there is no predicting what the game is gonna throw at you next. I beat the demo and got a small sticker as a reward. Yes. Let's go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The game is already released on Steam and the Nintendo eShop with a PS4, PS5 and Xbox version coming very soon. If you want to buy the game or are interested, Link in the description. Another fun game we checked out is Graviators. A fun arcade co-op multiplayer game where you have to destroy the enemy's defenses and get the ball through it while defending your own side. It's very unique and fun to play with friends. The game hasn't been released yet, but you can already wishlist it on Steam. Link in the description. Some other games we checked out and we thought were fun were Wings of Hope. Grime 2 Mackie's Adventure And that relives. Links for all games are in the description as well. The last thing I want to cover in this video, a game expo wouldn't be a game expo without having a merge hall. A place where people can spend all their hard earned cash on some seriously overpriced figurines and dolls of their favorite characters. Oh, 
100% going to die. How much is this? 60. 60? 60. No thanks, bro. A mini push now. Yeah. Well, it's not. That's your zero, like. Very Six. That's zero. Much. Except for the small Poshita plush, I decided to not spend too much money here. But some of the statues we saw were seriously impressive, and had I been rich, I would have bought them all. So that was about it for this year's Gamescom. Always love going there and it will probably keep being a yearly tradition for me as long as they keep hosting the in-person event for the general public. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, I appreciate it a lot. Did you get to go to Gamescom this year? If not, would you ever consider going if you could? If you did go, what were your favorite games you checked out? Leave a comment down below, I love engaging with you guys. Thank you all for watching and catch you all later.